Alright. Okay, so... <laughs> anyway, that's an interesting song. <laughs> it's essentially, if someone forgot all the words to the Sonic Heroes thing, and, and that's like the in-production version. It is just... it's great. They're just like... Da -da 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 -da. <laughs> anyway, I've kind of made some changes to this... I have to open the window first. There we go. Anyway, I've kind of done some bad things here. Well, I found like a bunch more levels, but I've also found a bunch of characters. Well, as far as characters that quote unquote come with the game, I actually unlocked all the what do you call them? The Sonic Writers Group? What are they called? This one? <laughs> this... Yeah, I... I was pretty bored. That's kind of what happened there. Anyway, so... Another thing that happened... Is... Well... I'll actually... I'm going to show you some characters. So, we actually have some characters who might not belong here. Like, we have these ball people from before, but... Here's the guy in a fetal position and off the screen, because... And you may be wondering, okay, why are there two, two silvers? Um, that, there's... There's kind of a reason for that. Um... Anyway, I've had a bit of... Messing around with this. So. It's no use! It's no use! It's no use! So, yeah, if you're noticing it's something, no it's. You might be noticing something about the dialogue here. It's no use! 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 Yeah, I I had a bit of fun with the, some game files, uh, essentially. It's no use! 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 So, yeah, there's that. I've... But essentially I found these characters on the site, but... Yeah, it's... I had a little bit of fun with some, but essentially, we have these two, right? Well, I've installed quite a few levels, and why not? Why don't we just like confuse the heck out of a Nintendo here by playing a Mario character in a Mario world, but it's on a Sonic engine because you know. That's just kind of how you can mod this game, I guess. I've also had to kind of replace the audio here. Also, what, what is what is all this back here? I, I haven't played this level before, so... Okay, I guess the level just doesn't exist back here? Okay. But I've had to kind of replace the music because they'll kind of get mad at you if you use their music, so. Apparently this is a knuckle stage, or whatever, you have to find the things. At least according, at least that's what the mission says. And yet there's a Soul ring here? What? I... I... I'm honestly just... 
confused here. I mean, for one thing, it's kind of just like, oh, it's not the right character or something, yeah. but... Also, he has quite a bit of a jump. What? What is all this stuff? What? what why is part of the level just a hole? What? I... what? Yeah, I, I'm not sure what's with this level, or why there's just a big hole in it. <laughs> or if there are even any things to find in it, because apparently I'm supposed to be finding them, it's, but nothing is showing up. <laughs> yeah, this is just... I don't know what's going on with some of this. This is all like just this. I mean, it's a fan game, but it has user content, so it's like, oh, here's here's a level kind of. So here's just part of the bomb zone, and the camera's just tilting. Oh, now. Trying to get that thing that was next to the cannon. Uh, in the cannon. There we go. I think that's a lightning shield. I can I aim this cannon like up? Okay, that. I guess these just teleport me. that the physics are kind of screwy. <laughs> Again, this is kind of a Mario thing in a Sonic engine. This is just... <sighs> yeah, I, I'm not even sure here. So why is the camera just tilting? Okay, what? I actually don't know if you can complete this, because like, where where are the things? Once in here, and the camera just keeps tilting all over the place, like. This is just... I don't even know. What what are these? And why do we still have a shield? If... Oh. There's the guy, apparently. I just need to figure out how the hell I'm getting out of here. Like, what? Oh, yeah, I, I guess I just use this. I have to figure out what direction to go because there's just geometry everywhere and I I I don't even know. Is is this death? No, oh, I can just jump back through the floor, it's fine, okay. Okay, this water's fine. As long as they keep jumping in it. If we can find a way back up, that'd be great. There we go. I'm not really sure what those are for. <laughs> What? 
What is that for? I I'm sorry, what? Well, there might be something over here, if I can get there. Oh yeah, just run on the walls too, sure. I eat what? <laughs> so yeah, just reminding you, this is a Sonic fan game. It's just been a bit changed. Also, wait, are you supposed to- what? Okay, we found another thing. Oh, what? Oh. Apparently that's solid. <laughs> I just need to figure out how- Oh! Okay, the ground just doesn't exist there. I seem to be stuck. That's good. I I don't know. This these levels are going to vary heavily in quality because yeah, I, I can't even do anything about that. Um, what about characters who can break games? Let's see. Why don't we play like? This one, we invent this one. She's a fine character, so she can break most of the levels. Excellent. The physics and this it's just ugh. Wow. That sounded like it was cut off. <laughs> okay. Yeah, we can skip parts of the level by just getting onto these scenery. To worry about that, just fly over it. <laughs> Again, that's kind of the deal with this engine. You can kind of just break a lot of the levels by just flying over things. So they didn't put like ceilings or walls 
that would prevent you from doing so. So you just can. Although a lot of this is supposed to be like homing attack or something. It's like, you know. Also, I think this level is one of the kind of broken ones that I just pulled from one of the older archives before they like updated all of them. So that might be why some textures are just missing, or honestly textures might just be missing either way. Because there should probably be a bit more road to the road and not just a white void. That's... yeah. So, yeah. I guess this is the Adventure 2 version of this? Sure. I also like how like half the time we end up starting the wrong way. I I'm not sure why that is. Also, this road shouldn't be that lumpy. Like, when you actually run on it, it should kinda, you know, actually be smooth to walk on, not just a bunch of lumps. See? It's so lumpy. I'm pretty sure this actually acts as a flat surface in the actual game. Also, that didn't speed up at all. It Oh. Okay, so apparently in this level you can just, like, skip past the end. <laughs> uh, let's see. There's one from First Adventure, I think. Okay, this level seems to have lighting, what?
What is this? Defeat the enemies. Okay, so I have to like go for there too. Which is open, yeah. Oh, there's the music. Actually, wait, this might have been the level which. I mean, I was kind of checking things out, making sure everything's fine. And I think this will have, like, really broken music. Like, it was like, oh god, this being a broken, the camera's kind of flipped out there. Unfortunately, this guy shoots missiles everywhere. I guess we go down, because there's like nothing up. Oh, Alright, so... Oh yeah, so... I don't know why these statues just keep smoking. And then the blocks are just on fire? Yeah, I'm not, I'm not sure what a lot of stuff going on here is. Okay, 
Okay, the physics broke. Something that should have just been automatically doing, but... Okay, now where do you go? Do you get... I'm going to assume just keep going up, because... Okay, so those are kind of... Wait, whoa, what? Alright. Yeah, this is kind of a long level. <laughs> I mean, modern Sonic games, they just have weirdly long levels, so I don't know, maybe this fits. There's no, this is different from, like, how it would be in, like, the actual thing, because, like, in the actual one, there's, like, a snake made of stone, I think, it had, like, controller or something. And it was also controlling the water levels, so... It's all weird, honestly. There's just a really long stretch of not much going on. looking for the exit. I don't want to fight the guys so I don't have to because that just takes a while. We're uh, like nine minutes in on this level? Okay, so you have to jump over fire effects. So I'm not sure if that yellow shield is just a super shield or if shields just tend to like become regular shields when you lose them. What do you have to do for this one? find the switch somewhere, okay. So that, I'll say the way they do level design here is good. Okay, and then this thing's just not solid. Or I'm like glitching through it?
Oh. Another one just a switch in it. Also, sand it gets you stuck. Sorry, what? The heck? Okay. Oh well. Okay, yeah. Just just be on the wall there. So yeah, if if you want that authentic Sonic game feel, here, here you go. And I somehow got a nest rink. And then I don't know what the stuff is. Like. But yeah, the the emblems in this kind of work like. Yeah, this shows like a weird amount of inspiration from Sonic 06. It's like there's like built-in levels from it. Actually, yeah, let's let's go to what was it? It's up in the ones that come with it. I think it's like the last one in there. Yeah, we have this one. Nobody likes this level. <laughs> Especially because it's just like it's way long in it switching characters like twice, and then there's the mock speed section, which like Nobody knows how to do, because it's like, you go way too fast and run into too many things, but essentially you just have to light dash, and, and that's how you actually survive those. I, I, I've seen that from, uh... Hey, let's see how broken, not broken this is. Okay, first thing I do, I skip a checkpoint. That's that's something that shouldn't be happening. So I see how they do the skidding water thing. They just treat the entire water like a rail. Oh uh, what? I don't know where to go. Do I just like jump for those? Uh, I, I honestly don't trust physics in anything here. Here's here's an island. Okay. Oh, I go over there. That was the way we came. Oh, okay, we... Oh yeah, that's that's the place where you can just like stand on like a checkpoint pole for no real reason. So I played this in a somehow more stable engine that's not really stable. Okay, so I had to, I had to tell you sort of like how I got this working in, because it was working, but it stopped working. Like, essentially, when I tried adding in more characters, they wouldn't show up. So, um, essentially, what happens is, if you have less than a certain amount of characters in, in the engine, it'll just, like, it won't see them if you ever try to add more than that. stuck on walls here, what? Anyway, so anyway, about the engine, I was trying to add more characters in, but I couldn't because for whatever reason, if you ever have less than the beginning amount of custom- oh god, I'm like on here now. The beginning amount of characters, it'll just break and it won't show those characters as like playable. It'll just say it can't find them even though it'll like show their icon, so 
what happened was, um, or to fix that, I kind of decided to reset all the settings, and of course that just cleared everything, like, I don't even know, so I had to, like, I had to, like, reestablish the Xbox controller here, and so this game doesn't come with a correct setting for the Xbox controller, it, like, expects the PlayStation controller, and I don't know, I don't really know many people who have one of those, like, hooked up to a computer, so... Because it's like, it takes effort, need like a plug-in that, like, it could be a fires, I don't know. There might be a better one now, but... Um, also you might need a Bluetooth adapter. Um, I'm not sure now. Also, what the heck is one of that? Um... So just flying off the level here. So, yeah, so I had to, like, reconfigure that. I mean, now that I, I knew how to after the first time, which took, like, an hour to figure out, because it was like, why aren't any of the buttons working? Like, even at the menu, it mixes up the buttons, because it assumes, like, oh, your jump option is, like, you're going to be your, uh, your accept button, but that's, like, mapped to something else to start with. Even though it says it's A, it's, like, X or something, and everything else is, like, you know, you map things to the stick buttons, it's... It's weird. So, aside from that, I had to remap that. I also had to, like, get back to where I was as far as emblems, because all this stuff is, like, tracked by emblems. By how many characters you have. So, essentially, I think we get another... I think we got three. I think it's going to lock someone. Yeah, so, that unlocks a couple of the Sonic Adventure 1 characters there. Here's this one. And I guess this one plays like Knuckles, and this one plays like maybe also <laughs> Knuckles. Um, yeah, why, why don't we play one of those levels uh, that has the rings? Yeah. So, yeah, anyway, that, that took a long time to, like, reconfigure. It was just, it was a pain, honestly. Um, but, got everything back. We're pretty good. There's like two going off at once, so it sounds like there's one really close, but honestly one could just be that. Also, I like how they're using the Adventure 1 method of these indicators because Adventure 2 you had to get them in order. Well, actually well, you could get them out of order, but like you wouldn't be able to use the indicator for them. Meanwhile on Sonic Adventure 1, you could just get in whatever order and they, and the indicators will, like, blink on, let you know, like, let you know, like, if you can do that.
also, yeah, this level is still a pain. It's like, hey, you need to find switches and switches and switches. So, like, actually getting to the goal for one of the missions on here is just, it's just way messed up, like. I still haven't found a single one. I think I was able to do this before, but the spawns are just really bad, I don't know. This level honestly could use a lot of work. Like how how are you supposed to How are you supposed to get up here? I also apparently found one, I just noticed. I don't know when that was, I think I might have just hit an enemy randomly. The fact that this building has a lip is just making it impossible to climb. Oh, there's just one down there I somehow missed. There's like one back this way? So lost in this crazy thing. Yeah, there is a part like I don't know if it's right here or somewhere around here. Is it that in me? But yeah, there's a part somewhere around here where you can clip out of this out of the invisible ceiling. But then you're just like you can't get back in. Because it's flipped around or something. Yeah, I, I just found it. It's this level is just really broken. I don't even know why I've drives here because I don't know. That's a lot of drives for not really holding anything. <laughs> I'm trying to find more of those. Yeah, here's one. I never played this one, so who knows what this is gonna be. It's another treasure hunt level, which means it's gonna take a while. I'm just kinda doing these things so I find them. Oh. 
Oh, okay. We just get a memory access violation here. I have to kill it. Well, that's great. Yeah, again, it's it's a, it's honestly the true Sonic game experience because it's unstable. You could break the levels. It'll crash sometimes. It's it's pretty much perfect for capturing that. I don't know. Um, honestly, it's a decent engine. It's just there's some really weird levels. You know, just capturing. I hope so. Yeah. Okay. I also don't really know what Worst Cave is, but it's probably pretty bad. Is this supposed to be like a level from, uh... Oh. What what is this music? So so it's just like from like Jet Set Radio Future not Future. Japanese on a picture, sure. What are these? I, I don't know what the sock is. And that ring was like not really inside the. Look at that here. Just like the edge. I'm saying this too soon, but this level seems together at least. I mean, I just need to go in a general direction to find something. And it's altitude, I guess. And there's a map of Sonic and Lost World, sure. That's the game I say I'm playing, but I'm actually not because this thing doesn't have an entry for fan games usually. What? Whoa, whoa. That was just a bunch of like stuff jammed together. start to have something, maybe. Okay, so it's over here. Somewhere. Oh, nice skybox there. Okay, 
Okay, they're both yellow. It's like around this building. So are they just in here? Better not be like inside the building and like it's in a wall or something. God, what? What is this? Okay. <laughs> we, we got it, we got it, we got it. Okay. <laughs> and there's just pinball crud down here for no real reason. Anyway, I'm curious what Worst Cave is, so... Let's see what this is, because it's apparently the worst. Of course, it's one of those speed levels. It's auto scrolls run forward all the time. Let's go. Whoa. Okay, so it's just like a load of hazard or something? I found the bottom of the map, apparently. So, did, are they just like, oh, what is the worst possible level you can make? I wonder if... Okay, so could I edit the files and make this not... <laughs> I'm not scrolling, sure, then it's just gonna be like... I don't know, this, this really is the worst level, but there are worse levels somehow. They're just making it be like, oh, hey, you need to just... But then there's this, which, this is one of the built-in ones, yeah. And it's from one of the, <laughs> I don't know, worst games, right? So, how does this one behave? Stuff's like falling over here. Let's go! And then a really red repeating lava texture. Oh, that was a weird Doppler effect. And all of it, I'm glad they drew their inspiration from the adventure engines and not the Sonic 06 engine. see things off to one side or the other. Yeah, flying characters seem to sometimes be a big help here when everything's just screwy. Sometimes, you know, their inability to actually damage while they're in flight is also a problem. It's 
also just randomly hit markers over. I haven't been hitting them really. So many signs in this level that tell you what what is the path. What was this thing? Yeah, okay, so it's just hints about like how the level works. I wonder if anyone analyzing this footage later is going to be like, oh, he's just actively avoiding any chance of platforming. He's just like flying over anything. I'm like, yes, because I don't want to have to deal with that. They gave him the option to, and I am choosing not to, you know. What's the hint? What do I need for a bonus? Is it death? No. No, it's just like, one of things out. Okay, sure. Yeah, not exactly the worst level, but hey, they, they still somehow draw a lot of inspiration from. But yeah, when I was re getting everything, I somehow S ranked this. I don't know how. Yeah, I haven't done this one yet. Let's, let's do this one.
out of my way. On guard. Take this. I found one. This is kind of cool. That wasn't his though. I wanted one of them. That one's hiding there. This one's hiding somewhere around here. That'd be in the part I always forget exists. not configured right at all. It needs to just fly over the platform. I mean, ever since, like, the Bayonet existed, I always thought, like, her... her music, Rouge's music, were just, like, bootleg band into music, it sounds kind of like it. Huh? Even though, like, Panda came out, it just... I don't know how to dodge it, apparently. Oh, it's up here. Just going to slowly slide off here. Do this level. This is everyone's favorite kind of level. And from Sonic Heroes, nonetheless, it's like, hey, just you know, take like a level where you have to be a ball, you know, and just. But of course, you can break this level. You can break like a lot of levels in Sonic Heroes, obviously. Just need to know like where. Watch me just like skip this whole part. And the, the camera's also stuck. There we go. And they're just getting stuck in the pinball sections because. I think they kind of did some weird workarounds to code around it or something. Oh, 
Yeah, that disables it. <laughs> I don't really know where this goes. Uh, just up here. Just broken. So I was trying to avoid this part. I should just like slam to the side repeated to actually get anywhere. I'm trying to just skip all of the pinball parts. Because they'll just cause they'll just get stuck there. And the Doppler effect when the camera swings around like that is pretty funny. Alright, let's try to find one more level to do. Uh Oh, apparently there's one where you have to find- there's a mode where you have to find birds, okay. It's the Sonic 3D mode. Now, uh, let's- let's go back to... ...these levels, see if we can find... Facing the right way? I guess I was, for once. There's just a bunch of grass in the way. I used Google SketchUp. This was made in 20 minutes. Okay. Switch or just fly up if you want. And then here's like a checkpoint, which is like facing a weird way. And oh, this music's just like anime idol music. I I don't know. Oh wow, that that was that was a quick level. <laughs> well, they said it was made in 20 minutes, so and I S ranked it because I. Sure. I think we unlocked someone else for getting 35. And like, who's Tiara? What? Who, who is this? I can't tell who they are in a ball form. I just have to like scroll through every single character here. Apparently had Marina sometime. Same thing I do. But they're so shiny. Yeah, there's. They just threw every character in here. Let's see. Is, it, where, where, where is, her, where, is she from the comics or something? Because I don't recognize her. Like. The comics are a whole different thing here. Yeah, then we just get into the characters. It's no use. And yeah, it's just every character. Yeah, it says non-playable, but I have a want to make him playable because that is apparently the want of everyone. All right. I think that's 
Gonna be it for this one. I don't know if I'll come back to it, but it's there if I want to. I mean, I might just be messing around with that off off camera, you know. It's fine. Um, yeah. Yeah, we're just gonna go on here. Maybe I'll figure out something else to stream for once. Maybe go back to old Windows stuff, or actually the part in here that should let me stream some older consoles if it works right. I just need to configure that to work with this software. After that, well, I've got a lot more content there then, so. And we'll just see what kind of time I get, and there we go. All right.